Greetings Poofarians, welcome back to another episode of Leisure Suit Larry, the first one, the original one, the naughty one, there you go. Um, we have heard some kind of commercial last time on the radio, so what we're going to do right now is um, go to a phone and then call that number because we want some liquor. Um, let's see, we uh, have to head out again. And um, we are going to go. You close the door behind you and jiggle the knob to confirm it is locked. <laughs> He's quite afraid that he will lose Fawn. All right, let's go into the elevator. Uh, and then we have to press a one. That works. So we're going to the first floor, and on the first floor we are going to go outside. There. Because we can't use, we can't, can we use that phone? The entrance to the cabaret lounge is to the right by the elevator. To the right by the elevator. Uh, the telephone. Oh my goodness. Read. A glass elevator awaits you in ashtrays in front of the planter. Can we use phone? Somebody filled the coin slot with chewing gum. Yeah, so we cannot use that phone. But there's another phone. Outside somewhere. So we have to take a little trip with the cab. But once we do, we will actually be able to use that payphone so we're gonna uh, call the cab here yo taxi squeak there he is again uh enter car and then we're gonna move to the store please because that's where the payphone is vroom vroom here we go again Driving home for Larry. 15. All right, pay him. Uh, get out. Because that's what we do. And then use the phone. And the phone number that we're going to call is 555-8039. Hello? Hello! Ajax Liquor Store. We deliver. So what do you want to buy? Uh, I, I think we want to buy a uh, wine. Fine, where do you want it delivered? Um, I, I want it delivered in the honeymoon suite, please. Okay, we'll get it right there. Consider it done. Thanks for calling. Thank you very much. Great, so we're going to call a cab again. And um, get in car. I'm not close enough. Get in car, and we're heading back to the casino. Um, casino, please. Okay, you got it, Mac. Thank you. And we're waiting again. If you drive a fast car, da 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 da. Anyway, <laughs> anywhere, whatever. Pay him. Get out. Are there any more car songs? <laughs> I don't even know. Driver seat. Oh, yeah, that's another one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the Beatles had one as well, right? Uh, you, you can be my... You, you can be my something, something. Oh, my goodness. What was the Beatles song about the car? Beep, beep, and beep, beep. Yeah. I can't remember. But anyways, we're going to... Um, the fourth floor. Din, 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 din. And then we are heading back to the honeymoon suite. I can't. I. It's bugging me right now. That Beatles song. About the car. Or at least someone driving along. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. It's the only thing I can remember right now. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my. Uh, let's knock again. Fawn's sexy voice oozes through the door. Oh baby, it's you, you're back. There's a click as she unlocks the door. Come on in, you wonderful hunk. <laughs> Suddenly you shout, here I come, baby. Well, hmm. Oh Larry, it's you, Fawn says. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Excuse me? Cute young delivery boy? Let's talk to Fawn. Aren't you going to pour the, the wine, she says, her eyes flashing. Um, okay, M maybe we should pour, pout, pour the wine then. I'm not close enough, where is the wine? That's next to the bed. Pour the wine. You carefully remove the bottle from the wine bucket, unscrew the cap and pour it. She downs her glass immediately. You refill it and she does it again. Her eyes meet yours and you're sure luck is with you this time. I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh, let's strip down. Let's strip down. She says, lie down, Larry. I have a special surprise for you. Then she says, close your eyes. And you do, because you're sure that finally success is at hand. Oh, my. Uh, but nothing is moving right now. Oh, fawn, you moan. Oh, baby, that feels so good. Ooh. Say, Fawn, when are you going to get undressed? Uh, I don't think she is. Hey, what's the deal with the rope? Why are you tying me to the bed? When Fawn has you securely tied to the bed, she grabs your wallet saying, you forgot to pay me for the wine, then heads out the door. Uh, excuse me? Fun, come back, you shout. This isn't funny. It's <laughs> it's kind of funny. Huh, you wonder if there are, there's any way a guy can consummate by himself. Larry, it looks like the honeymoon's over. Oh my. Now what? Oh dear. Um, What do we have? Uh, we still have a pocket knife. Use the knife. Right. Using the pocket knife you got from the old bum by the convenience store, you saw through the ropes holding you to the bed. You grab your wallet and look inside. Oh well, at least she didn't find the ten bucks she hid in that secret compartment. With your consummating gambling skills, you should be back on your feet in no time. Exactly. So I think <laughs> um, we're going to take the rope with us. You never know when a nice piece of rope will come in handy. Um, yeah, so th that's basically our marriage. We weren't married for at least 24 hours, but uh, uh, there's more girls in the game. So we're heading towards another, uh, another one, the next one. Move closer to the handle. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, you close the door behind you and jiggle the knob to confirm it is locked. Okay, so basically it's not because Fawn is in there, but you're worried that someone else steal stuff i don't know uh we're going back to the first floor beep now what we're gonna do next is i have to gamble some more so i uh i will cut to the moment did I have enough money? Well, there you have it. Congratulations, you've broken the bank. This casino has a limit of 250 per person and you have reached it. No more for you, Larry. Ah, oh, goodness. Well, I got uh, 250 uh, bucks right now. And the thing that we're going to do as is, is we are going to exit the casino. Then call a cab again. Call cab. Where's the B? There you are. And then we're going to get in. And we are going to uh, get in car. We're going to somewhere else. 
because we're done here, uh, we are going to the bar. Yes, baby. So, uh, about a Beatles song, I really do not know. Uh, pay him and uh, get out again. So, we're back at Lefty's. Um, let's open the door. Uh, okay. And then we're heading back to this little door here. Um, where we will knock again. You rap loudly on the Nogahai door, and da 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 da. What's the password? The password is. Ken sent me, obviously. Oh, no. That was a typo. That was a typo. Uh, Ken sent me. Come on in. Great. Uh, we're going back up. Out of the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just walked in front of him. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're moving upstairs. Dun, 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 dun. And we gotta do the, the weird walking thing here again. Which is... Doesn't make any sense. It's like the staircase is... Um, tilted or skewed or something. Great. Um, she's still smoking. But we're not going to do anything with her. We're going to climb out the window. And once we are out on the fire escape thing, we are going to use the rope um, to the rail. And then we are also going to tie the rope to Larry. Okay. And then we're going to grab some pills. Try moving to the east end of the fire escape. What are you doing, uh, Larry? Uh, untie a rope? I can now. <laughs> you know what? First, let's look around. It's a nice little alley with a trash bin, two windows, a fire escape, a fence, and something sitting in the east window. Look at east window. Looking at the east window, you notice a bottle of pills sitting on the window's ledge. See, that's what we need. Tie rope to rail okay tie a rope to larry it's probably still tied okay get pills with the rope securely holding you to the railing you can reach all the way over to the window now of all times you notice the window's locked oh damn um use the hammer yeah <laughs> use the hammer it's hammer time Suddenly, you uh, smash the window with your hammer. Your future as a second-story man seems quite plausible. Oh, okay. Uh, can we now grab pills? You got them, but what are they? Um, get back onto railing before you fall down, Larry. Okay, thank you. Holy Christ. Untie the rope. Okay, we're done here. We are uh, falling down again. Great. Get out of the trash. Get out. Yuck. Disgusting. You smell like banana peels and stuff. Oh. All right. Um, call cab. We, we want the cab again. It's a lot of driving in this game. Get in car. We are heading back to the casino. There. But we got... Oh, 23. That wasn't a long drive. Pay him. Get out. He is getting more and more expensive, by the way. Um, we are going into the casino. And into the elevator. And we are going to continue the game next time. Haha. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for watching and your ongoing support. 
Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. And don't forget to tell your parents about me and leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you down in the comments for now. I, Poofy, salute you.